Howdy everybody! So Christmas is around the corner and probably one of the most asked questions online is... Um, I want to give my kid or my partner a telescope. Which one should I get? This question comes up every single year. So in this video, it's going to be really short. We're going to go straight to the point and it's going to be for people who have no idea what telescopes are and uh, we don't want you to make a mistake so make sure you don't buy a really bad telescope. So we're going to talk to you about four, uh, four telescopes that are excellent for the price. And uh, yeah, so what's the first one? One of the first telescopes that we recommend is the Orion X-T8 and that is a Dobsonian telescope. Can you tell us what that is? So a Dobsonian telescope actually means the mount, so the mount type. So a dob, usually it's a reflector. This, for example, is a reflector. As you can see, there is a mirror in there. Actually, there is two of them. Um, this is a really basic, pretty much the most basic type of telescope you can get. Uh, just two mirrors. Now, the Dobsonian part is the mount. So the mount is going to allow you to easily uh, screw to any object uh, in add as. So up, down, left, right. So pretty basic, just grab the scope and turn left, turn right, go up and down. It's not good for photography, but it's perfect for visual. So the X-T8 is really good. It's uh, a reflector, like I just showed you. Uh, we used to have a friend who has uh, this telescope and we were blown away. It's a really affordable scope and it's, it's compact. It's, it's a bit long, but it's compact enough to be uh, in the trunk and it's really good for the price. So what is the second one that we recommend? It's a bit larger. It is the X-T10. And so the 8 and the 10 uh, is 8 inch or 10 inch in aperture. So the aperture is how much light can the telescope gather, which is the number one important thing about astronomy. Yes, we want visual. to capture those photons. So if you look through the 10 inch Dobsonian, you might see, you might better see uh, some fainter nebulae, some fainter galaxies than the 8. But it is of course larger, it's um, a bit uh, heavier as well. And uh, it depends on what you want to do, it's a bit pricier as well. So for me, I think the 8 inch is already really good. You don't want uh, to, if you don't want to spend too much for a 10 inch, the 8 inch is already excellent, yeah. What do we have for the 3 and 4? So 3 and 4 is basically the same thing that we just explained. But the only difference is that it is on a motorized mount. So the X-T8 and um, X-T10, they both come as X-T8i and X-T10i. Those have a motorized mount. So it's a bit pricier of course, but the good thing is if you really, yeah, if you really want to, to slew to targets that are really hard to find in the sky. Um, it's much easier to manage. It comes with a remote control. Because honestly, there are only like, maybe three objects in the sky that are really easy to find for any beginner. The Orion Nebula, Andromeda Galaxy, and the Pleiades. Yes, those three are super easy to find, but are for a beginner. But if you plan on, on you know on observing some other targets, they are much harder. So uh, over time, you'll want to get more difficult objects. But yes, definitely having the ability to slew with a motorized mount would definitely really be in your favor, especially in the long term. The only problem, besides the price uh, difference, is you might need a battery, or you will need a battery uh, on the field if you plan to go you know, in the desert or uh, somewhere Just else. away from your home. You will need a battery uh, to connect to the mount. That's the only thing. Mm -hmm. uh, besides that, we would suggest uh, getting the i versions for sure. Um, now you could, uh, I know those four are really you know, identical almost, you could, if you wanted to, get a refractor telescope, which is what we have over here. But those ones are better for um, astrophotography, and they are not so good for visuals. Some are, some are really good, but the price difference is insane. So right. uh, for us, a reflector is the way to go. The key here is do not, please, do not go into Walmart or Target or whatever, and do not get a cheap 20 bucks telescope like this one here. Uh, we introduced this fun little guy and we keep him kind of as a decoration um, because we mentioned same thing kind of last year around this time that sometimes when you go into the store with absolutely good intentions and you buy a telescope like this and think that oh you know my person is going to really enjoy this and this is going to catapult them into the hobby sometimes it's just not enough. Don't. <laughs> so 
And when you buy this and they don't like see, you know, what's advertised and this box in particular for buying this for someone that you truly care about that you know would really, really enjoy this hobby in the long term is definitely what we call a hobby killer. So we don't recommend it. If anything, of course, Oh, the ones that we mentioned before. Below we'll have the link to the video we made about this last year. Yeah. You can have it off. You will also need one more thing, uh, which can be pricey or cheap, depending on what you plan to do, uh, eyepieces. So you will need some great eyepieces. The better uh, eyepiece you get, the more details you will see through the scope. So and we hope you have a great Christmas and please uh, do not fall into the trap of buying a cheap telescope. Uh, at any place. Don't I, do it. Don't do it. You will thank us in two years when you're, when you're still using the, the telescope you have. So we'll see you guys next time. And happy holidays yes. and also clear skies. Clear skies. <laughs>